All right, guys, so the new super boss monsters for the dinosaurs in the new dinosaur structure that just got leaked so let's go and check it out as well as a bunch of new Yu-Gi-Oh cards so anyways it got leaked over here on this pretty sweet looking poster pretty good stuff but we're here for the effects uh, a couple reprints uh fossil did quaking mirror force which is actually pretty good and the tcg will get like an mst instead of it because that's how we are with the tcg but we're here to check out the new ultimate conductor tyrannos effect so level 10 light dinosaur uh, effect monster, 3,500 attack, 3,200 defense points. Can't be a normal summoner set and must be first special summon from your hand by banishing two dinosaur type monsters from your graveyard. And then once per turn during either player's turn, you can destroy one monster you control or have in your hand. And if you do, change all face up monsters your opponent controls a face down defense position. And uh, this card can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. Remember when we talked about that dual tame card? You could use it, maybe, with this card over here. And the third effect is, at the start of damage step, when this card attacks a defense position monster, you can inflict a thousand damage to your opponent, and then also you get to send that um, defense position monster to the graveyard. It doesn't destroy it, it just sends it to the graveyard, which is actually a really good effect. With 3,500 attack and it can attack everything, yeah, you're probably going to finish it off. Uh, but I'm thinking what would be even more cheeky is to flip everything face down once it comes out, and then flip it up back face up, because it can attack everything and then disrespect your opponent and kill them all once again. That, that would be real cheeky if someone like flips them back up. But nonetheless, we got a bunch of more Yu-Gi-Oh cards to check out. Uh, so let's go and check them out. And I'll leave the link down below if you guys want to read like it uh, by yourself. But uh, nonetheless, let's go and check it out. So we got Floating Ash Spring Breeze. TCG, apparently it's going to be called Ghost Ash and Spring Breeze. So zero attack, 1800 defense. You can only use effective at once per turn. During either player's turn, except during the damage step, when your opponent activates a card or effect that moves card or cards from deck or hand or graveyard, or special summons and monsters from the deck, you can discard this card and negate that effect. You can only use this effect once per turn. Oh, you summon more rat? Oh, bam! There we go. You're gonna special summon extra ones? No, that's really good. Invoker, bam, special summon from the deck. Nope. That's an insane effect. This is a really great anti-meta card. Confirm for secret rare in the TC. Wow, I'm calling it right now, boys. It's going to be secret rare in the TCG. It's only super rare in the Japan. They always do this. They always make them secret rare in TCG and go like $100 card. All right, anyways. Next up, we got a new fairy tale card called Kaguya. Level 4 light spellcaster. 1850 attack to make it difficult for math. And then 1,000 defense points. First effect is when this card is normal summon, you get to add one spellcaster to a monster with 1850 attack from your deck to your hand. That's a really good effect, but that other card can negate it. But uh, next one up is once per turn during either player's turn, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls. Your opponent can send one monster with the same name as that monster from their main deck or extra to the graveyard to name this effect. Otherwise, bounce that monster that that's a really insane effect. But again, that other card effect is crazy. That moves card from the deck or hand. Oh, that's 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 crazy. Uh the other card is just is so good in everything. Next up though, we got Diamond Dustin. So a normal trap card says when a card or card on the field is destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can dispose some dusted monsters from your deck anywhere on the field equal to the number of cards destroyed. <laughs> Dustin not too meta though. <laughs> Anyways, once while this card is in your graveyard, you can banish one dusted monster from your graveyard and dispose summon this card to your opponent's field and defense position as a normal monster. Uh, theme type dark level 1 attack 0 at 1000 defense. This card is not treated as a trap card. If summoned this way, this card cannot be tributed or be used for a fusion, sinker, or exceed in material uh, for a summon. I don't know, like, if you guys haven't seen what Dustin's do, they don't really do much. There is technically, like, a cheesy OTK you can do with the Dustin's. I'll link it down below, but Dustin's, guys, I don't know. Let's we get some more support. I'm not really too hyped for the Dustin's, uh, the new support, but maybe it'll be good. But next up, we got Spiral Wave of the Mythic Radiant Dragon. So it's an equip spell card, only equipped to a normal monster. You can only use the second effect of it once per turn. So the first effect is the equip monster is not destroyed once per turn. And that's by battle or by card effect. That's pretty decent. Second effect is at the end of a battle phase in which the equip monster battled, you can spell some one spiral mythic radiant dragon from your hand, deck, or graveyard, then equip this to that monster. Then your opponent discards one card from that. Wow, that's actually not bad. That you make them go minus. Um, although if they're playing certain other decks like Dark World, watch out for that. Uh, but uh, Dark World's not too popular right now. Next up, we got Conquering Whirlpool of the Mythic Radiant Dragon. So, it's a normal trap card that says, if Umi is on the field, you can activate this card from your hand. Target one Spiral Mythic Radiant Dragon you control. When it destroys three effect monsters by battle while it has three or more Mythic Radiant Equip spells, equipped to it, you win the duel. Oh, wow! Wait, that, that's, that's, that's not... 
Is that the... Is the I don't know, sometimes the translations for match and duel are different, but, uh, I mean, that's still pretty crazy. That's like a new Exodia, new win condition? If a normal monster you control would be destroyed by Battle Rack Heart Effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. That's crazy. Like... That is insane. Like, dude, this is a new new win condition. Like, that's like viable. Like the Ghost Trick one, I forgot. Yeah, like 69 material attached to it. But like, uh, it has to have three more. Okay, I don't know. I'm already thinking of ideas for this. Do you guys think this is OP? I don't know. Like, you win the entire like duel. Ah, oh, that's that's cool. Um, anyways, so if a normal monster control be destroyed by a record effect, you banish it. So it has like extra uses too. Has, yeah, that's a decent little card. Uh, next, we got more. Oh my gosh, there's more Zodiacs? Oh my gosh, Konami, what you doing, man? Zodiac Laika. So, it is a rank 4 beast uh, warrior. Uh, question mark tech, question mark defense. It requires two or more level 4 monsters. Once per turn, you can exceed summon Zodiac by uh, using one Zodiac monster control with a different name. Um, material attached to that, get attached to this. So it's probably, I'm not going to read that effect because it's going to be pretty much on every single uh, other Zodiac. Unless it's like different, uh, I'm not going to bother reading it because it's redundant. But anyways, the first effect is if uh, this card gains attack and defense equal to the total uh, of the uh, uh, attack and defense of the Zodiac monsters attached to it as material. That also is pretty much in all the Zodiacs, so I'm not going to read that again, but I'll read it the first time. Next effect is once per turn, you attach a material from this card target as Zodiac monster or graveyard. Special summon it, effects are negated. Also, it cannot be used as material. These changes last until the end of this turn. So, wait, so I guess the next turn you can use it for whatever you want? That's kind of dirty. It's not bad. It's not bad. It, it, it is a little slower. Um. I don't know. Okay, you guys let me know what you think of it. I'm sure there's already, like, broken possibilities with it. Because it just says these these changes last until the end of the turn. Anyways, next up we got the Hammer Kong. Uh, uh, a rank 4. So, uh, oh, this one requires 3 or more level 4 monsters. Um, again, same summoning conditions and uh, it gains attack. Okay, so, while this card has any XYZ materials, your opponent cannot target other Zodiac monsters with card effects. So that protects your Drancia right there, real easy. Then once per turn, during each player's end phase, detach one material from this card. Okay. I don't know how, like, relevant this card is. Um, it's not, like, a terrible card, but I don't I, I don't see it being very good. You guys let me know if I'm wrong on that. Next up, we have Zodiac Jean-Ki. Um, so it's a continuous trap card. You can only use the first of effect about once per turn. When you would detach a material to activate a Zodiac XYZ monster effect, you can detach material from another XYZ monster you control set. So, oh, okay. And then you can banish the card from your graveyard target to Zodiac monster you control, attach one of uh, them to the other as material. Huh. Okay. I don't know, again, like some of these are just not really relevant because you don't really need a lot of these. I don't know, I feel like Momorat is just gonna get banned and then people are gonna be like, well, whatever, who cares about Zodiac anyways? Uh, or they limit it, which is effectively the same thing. It's not gonna, like, make it see any play. Um, next up, we have no Zephyr support. Dang, they still supporting that archetype? Uh, anyways, we have Gamatron. Oh my gosh, why do they make these numbers? Anyways, level 11 Earth Rock type Pendulum Effect Monster. Uh, so its attack is. 3450, just to make it as difficult as possible. What is 3500? Whatever. Anyways, 29 defense, pendulum skill 5, pendulum effect. You can only use the pendulum uh, effect of it once per turn. Uh, during your main phase, you can take one Zephra pendulum monster in your deck and add it to your extra deck. Okay. And then, um, oh, face up. Uh, also, this card's pendulum scale becomes the same as that monster's pendulum scale until the end of this turn. This monster effect it cannot be normal summon set, must be special summon. Face up from your extra deck by tributing all monsters you control with at least one Zephyr monster and three monsters total, and cannot be special summoned by other ways. First effect is during the turn that this card is special summoned, you can pendulum summon only Zephyr monsters in addition to your pendulum summon per turn. Second effect is uh, once per turn, you can tribute summon one monster to special summon one Zephyr monster from your deck. Wow, that's, that, that effect is really good. Obviously, it has a lot of downsides, uh, but you can only summon Zephyr monsters, so that limits your plays on a lot of different things. Um, you guys let me know how you feel about that. It's, it looks like an ultra rare in the uh, OCG. Uh, next up, we got a Fire Cracker. Oh, is it a new archetype or something? Oh, anyways, level 4 Fire Fiend type uh, monster, 1700 attack, 200 defense points. Uh, you can only use the first effect of it once per turn. During either party's turn, you can discard this card and inflict 1000 damage per opponent. Also, skip your next draw phase. Each time your opponent takes effect damage, place one counter on this card. During the end phase, remove all counters from this card. If you do inflict 300 damage to your opponent for each remove. Ooh. 
It's a new bird. I already know this is new FTK with Firecracker. I guarantee you there's a way to do this. Um, it's just each time your opponent takes damage. It, there's a card similar to this. It's like... Uh, ectoplasm. It's like Dark Nightmare Room. It's something that where it just like burns your opponent every time you would burn them. So like you could just place that and just burn. Wait. Oh, you could like proc it. Okay, you could do some dirt. Okay, I already know this card is FTK. People are gonna complain about it. How relevant is going to be? I don't know. It, it is dirty though, and it has a decent amount of attack. Um, not that burn usually gets to attack anyways. There's FTK is confirmed with this card for sure. Anyways, next up we got Internal Nightmares, Continuous Trap card. You cannot activate this card's effect on the same chain as itself. Pay a thousand life points, target one face up spell and trap card and destroy it. Huh. Okay, this is not too bad of a card. Uh, next up we have Showtime or Bottom Mawashi over here. Quick play spell card. Uh, take two field spell cards with different names from your deck and set one of them to your field and another to your opponent's field as long as at least one of the cards set by this effect is on the field. Neither player can activate or set field. Wow, that's like an anti-meta-ish card in a sense against certain archetypes if, uh, you know, we start using field spells. I know some archetypes do definitely use field spells. Um, interesting, very interesting indeed. I think this is a, this is a really inter interesting card. Uh, next up we have Familiar Possessed Support. Oh, okay, level 4, Light Spellcaster, 1850 attack. That's classic though for them. But anyways, suppose someone's card from your hand by sending one face up Lina, the Light Charmer you control, and one face up Light Monk you control the graveyard. When this card is special one by its first effect, you can add one spellcaster with 1500 uh, defense from your deck turn except for itself. And then the third effect, if this card was special one by its effect, and attacks the defense position, it gets you piercing. Ah, I, feel, I feel like piercing is, like, with the exception of, the, like, that ritual blue eyes where it does, like, double piercing damage, like, 4,000 attack, like, eh, I feel like piercing is kind of like a meh effect right now in Yu-Gi-Oh! But nonetheless, oh, more speedroids! Oh my gosh, they're just releasing support for everything now! Alright, level 1 machine-type tuner effect monster. You can only use the effect of speedroid fiend magnet once per turn. Cannot be used for synchro material except for by its own effect. This card is normal special summon during your main phase. You can target one phase up monster your opponent controls immediately after this effect. Synchro summon one min one wind monster using this card and that. Wow, that's a really cool effect! You synchro with your opponent's board and you can one for one it? Dang, dude, that's crazy. Broken, man, broken. Alright, next up we got the speedroid Virodu Kuro. Uh, level 7, 0 attack, 3000 defense. You can only special summon. Uh, itself with its first effect once per turn. So during the player's turn, opponent controls a monster that was special summoned from the extract, you can just go special summon this. So it can't be destroyed by battle with normal summon monsters, as if that's relevant. Uh, your opponent takes all damage you would have taken from battles involving this card. Uh, if you control a monster that is not a speed raid monster, destroy this card. Oh. So the goal is to summon this card and then make it so um, your opponent just takes all the battle damage. Oh. Eh. I don't know how relevant that card is. Interesting card, nonetheless. Uh, next up, we got Phantom Knights. Oh, more Phantom Knights support. Normal trap card target one face up monster. It loses 600 attack. Also, at level becomes two. Also, your Phantom Knight monsters cannot be destroyed by battle. Uh, these changes last until the end of the turn. Special summon this card as a normal monster in defense position. Warrior Dark level two. 600 attack, zero defense. It is not treated as a trap card. Then we got BS. More BS support. If you guys haven't seen BS, it's a new like tower turbo ish oriented deck. Uh, I'll leave a link down below also for that deck. So anyways, um, Light Machine, 2700 attack. If your opponent controls a monsters while you do not, you special it from your hand and face up defense position. If this card is no more special, place three counter on it. Can't be destroyed by battle. At the end of damage step, this card battle, remove one counter from this card if you cannot destroy it. You can banish this card from your graveyard, shuffle all BES monsters from your graveyard into the deck. So it's kind of like a recycle engine. I feel like that's, the fifth effect is really irrelevant in how the deck wants to orient itself, which is basically get a boss monster, never die. That, that's how the deck wants to orient itself. Um, if it would shuffle everything and then draw extra cards, then it'd be much, much more useful. Next up, we got Bugs. Was this digital Bugs? No way. Quick play spell card Bugs signal can only be activated once per target. One insect XYZ monster you control, special summon one insect type XYZ monster from extra deck that ranks too higher or lower than target by using it as materials treated as exceed some materials attached to that. Oh. Uh, I don't know, it ain't, it ain't good enough. We got so much crazy support. Digital bugs, speedroids, phantom knights, dinosaur support, uh, which is a new structure up. Wow, there's a lot of crazy cards. You guys let me know what you guys are most excited about. Personally, for me, uh, I feel like the Zodiac support, I don't know, it just maybe someone will figure out some combos with it. That new Firecracker card, we already know there are going to be crazy FTKs with that card for sure. But anyways, you guys let me know what you're most excited about or what support you guys want to see come out 
next. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you guys get a like button, a titty slap, and hit that subscribe button for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos.